Schwazy here and Mrs. Schwazy hey as well. Everyone. In today's video, we are heading down to Moab to do the Bronco Off Rodeo. We've got our coffee, we got some monsters down here as well. We're ready for the road. If you guys don't know what this is, uh, when you purchase or order a Ford Bronco, Ford gives you the opportunity to head down to Moab to participate in this off road event where you sit behind the wheel of like this super souped up Bronco and take it on some trails so you guys can kind of get used to driving the vehicle. And and uh, me being kind of a novice off-roader, you've actually had some experience with it. We're both going to head down there and participate sitting behind the wheel of a Bronco and really figuring out how good of an off-roader this vehicle is. And at the same time, we're making kind of a mini vacation out of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and join us on this fun little journey. Yeah, can't wait. See you in a second. Okay, we just arrived here in Moab and we're about to grab a bite to eat and then we'll probably hit a trail or do some hiking or something and get ready for tomorrow's event. We are on a trail called the Gemini Bridges. We got the Bronco here and my wife inside. And uh, well, we'll see how far we go. She's waving back there. Uh, we'll see how far we go because it is starting to get a little bit dark, but uh, it's a little bit of an off-road trail. So just having some fun with the Bronco and seeing how far we get. All right, we have a debate, but this is obviously a pooping dinosaur, is it not? I mean, look at that. It looks like a dinosaur that's pooping. That's without question, but other people argue otherwise. <laughs> All right, it is day two of our fun Moab adventure here and we're about to head up to the Red Cliffs Lodge where the off rodeo kicks off. And so we're very excited for the event and we'll see you there in just a second. You wanna do it? Okay, and we've arrived. We are at the off rodeo. As you can tell, it's behind us and we're about to hit the road in a fun Bronco. <laughs> So here we are in an Outer Banks. Uh, this one's a little bit more equipped than ours. It's got lockers, front and rear. I think this is the Sasquatch package, so it's got 35 inches, but we're really excited. It should be a good event. I don't really know what to expect, but uh, we'll sh take you along on this journey.
Acres 2.5. Mm-hmm. Up you go. Right there, now come straight down, towards me. Right there, a little bit more. Right there, that's your line, right there. Just nice and slow.
Okay, so we just finished the full day event. We got the wife there and we're getting ready to do a little campfire that they're gonna have behind this uh, building over here. But uh, before we head to that campfire, I wanted to talk about my overall thoughts on the entire experience. There's a couple things I wanted to touch on. It was a fantastic event. I was very impressed with what Ford has done in setting up this entire event, all of the different trails we went on, all of the instructors did a fantastic job teaching you the ropes, but at the same time, not just like sitting over your face and and telling you exactly where to turn, how to turn. You still got your own vehicle. Uh, me and my wife shared a car and then the other group did as well. And then the instructor would kind of bounce around and help you out as needed, but he didn't intervene like sometimes other instructors do. But a couple things I wanted to point out, which I've written down to make sure I discuss them in today's video. First, we did do that river crossing, which you guys saw probably near the end of the video. That was a little bit scary because you never know how much water there actually is when you're driving through a river, but I'm glad there were other people there and the instructor was there. There. I want to touch base on that because not every single trail you go on if you sign up for this off-rodeo is going to take you to that river crossing. It really depends on how many people are in your group, it's what time of year. So keep that in mind that the trails you saw in today's video aren't guaranteed that that's what you're going to see when you go to the Moab off-rodeo. It's just one of many, but no matter which one you take, the instructors shift the cars to a certain trail that has less people and makes it a little bit better of an experience so you're not just backed up waiting for other cars to go. So keep that in mind. That's very interesting interesting information for you guys to know because I wasn't sure about that when I went to the off-roadio. I thought everybody does the same route. Now the second thing I want to touch on is the car that we were driving. It was an Outer Banks with the Sasquatch package and so it had the 35 inch, it had the rear and front lockers. It did not have the sway bar disconnect. One of the vehicles in our group did and they used that a couple times uh, but we didn't have it so obviously we didn't use it and I got to be honest we didn't really use the rear or front lockers much either. Uh, we used them probably a total of two maybe even three times just to kind of play around with them but pretty much all of the trails we were on we were able to do without engaging the lockers and I don't know if the video really caught it because um, sometimes it looks a little bit less scary on video than it does in real life but some of those trails were very very big and very scary uh, and so having no locker going up a giant hill with slick rock was pretty impressive and both me and my wife are so impressed with how amazing these vehicles handle even without having the lockers so if you happen to order one without one or you drive one without a locker, you really don't need it unless you're in really extreme circumstances where it just kind of helps you make it easier crawling up some rock. Another thing to point out is the fact that these were all base, non-modified Broncos. So, I mean, obviously they're modified from the factory with the Sasquatch package, but one of the vehicles in our group didn't even have a Sasquatch package. It was, I believe, a Badlands without a Sasquatch, and it was handling all of those trails right in front of us, leading the pack, doing just fine. So, you don't even need the Sasquatch package to be able to accomplish all of the trails we did today. But the only thing they changed was they just aired down the tires from about 40 to 42 PSI, I think, on the base Broncos, down to 34 PSI. So all the vehicles were running a little bit deflated tires, but really nothing too extreme, nothing like 20 PSI. It was still 34 PSI, still pretty normal for any other vehicle, but it allowed you to get a little bit better traction and have a little bit more tire on those trails. And that helped with crawling up some of those rocks without having the locker engaged. The other feature that our vehicle came with and none of the others in the pack did was the 360 degree camera specifically the front camera you know that was something that took a little bit getting used to because you can't really tell depth when you're looking at a camera angle but what that does help you with is when you're going up a hill and kind of peaking it and going down, it can kind of help you realize what the road looks like ahead of you. Because when you're just staring up <laughs> towards the sky at the hood of the vehicle, you don't really know what's gonna happen on the other end of that cliff. And so having that 360 degree, or more specifically that front camera, so you could see exactly, oh, okay, the road turns a little bit to the right or left or goes straight down, that's very useful to have. So I found that more helpful than actually using it to gauge how tall a rock is or something like that. The other part with that 360 degree camera is, you know, if you see a rock in the distance you can actually notice it on screen coming up close to you so you can kind of know whether you accelerate or brake a certain way and so that's a really useful feature if your vehicle does come with it something else I want to point out is the fact that these vehicles down here as you can see um, on camera they have been doing this trail for about a year uh, and they've got about 5,000 or so miles on them and what I will say is we got these vehicles on this road over here just on the regular highway driving up to the trail 
and they drove like they were brand new. There was no rattles, no squeaks, no like, okay, this car has been beat to crap. None of that, even though they really have been. I mean, even on today's trail, if you do that five, six times a week, I can't imagine what kind of wear and tear goes on these vehicles. And they really are solid built cars. And the evidence of that is that you do not creak when you're driving down the road, even though they've been beaten up for the last year. The tires are also, from what the instructor told me, all original. They haven't replaced them yet. And they still went up those trails just fine. They were a little beaten up, but the fact that they were able to grip the way they were uh, was really just testament to those Goodyear tires. They really did a fantastic job with this vehicle from the tires all the way to the structural design that it's able to last the wear and tear that it has over the last year. So to sum it up, if you can't tell, I would highly recommend if you have put a reservation down or an order or you're already driving a Bronco, still come down here to the Moab Off-Rodeo and check it out because you will not be disappointed. Uh, yes, the trails are a little bit challenging, but at the same time, if you're a novice, pretty much like me, or an expert, you're still going to have a lot of fun because there's a lot of different ways to take the trails to make them a little bit more or less complicated. We tried to go for the more complicated route and uh, it went very well. I mean, we didn't flip over any vehicles and had such a blast doing it. And the instructors are super informative and helpful as well to guide you through the process so you don't have to worry about falling off a cliff. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as we did. Did. Uh, we had an absolute blast and we wish we could come again. We're actually considering sure. putting another reservation in just to come back to this event. Not even for the car, but just for this event. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. If this is your first time checking out the channel, uh, my name is Armand, this is Shwayze, and I do car videos every single week and take you along this journey, but this is just one of many different types of videos. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel, and check out all of the social media down in the description below. As always, everybody, I hope you stay Stay Shwayze, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.